Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to simulate pressure changing equipment by performing pressure drop calculation in pipe system using Aspen Hysis. So the given question is that 40 tons per hour of water is transported by a 250 meter long pipe made from mild steel with the inside diameter of 100 millimeter and the wall thickness of 5 millimeter. The pipe system contains the following settings an open gate valve, a half open gate valve, two standard 90 degree elbows, a disc water meter and an open globe valve which are placed as shown in figure 1. So this is figure 1 for the pipe system as mentioned. The pipe inlet and outlet are in the same horizontal level. Water pressure at the beginning of the pipe system is 5 bar and its temperature is 25 degree centigrade. Average ambient temperature is 20 degree centigrade and the average value of the heat transfer coefficient is 20 watt per meter square per, per Kelvin. Now we have to calculate the pressure drop, the pressure and the temperature profile across the length of the pipe. So this is the system which we are going to simulate using Aspen Hysis. So we will go to Aspen Hysis. So after opening Aspen Hysis, we will select new simulation. And now from the in the components list, we will add our component that is only water in the, our case. Next we will switch to the fluid packages and select an appropriate fluid package for simulation. And in this case, we are going to select end to end property model. Next, we will switch to the simulation environment and from the model palette, we will search for pipe and add a pipe to the flow sheet. We can just change the icon of the pipe for convenience. So for this, we are going to select this one. Okay. Now we will double click on the on pipe. And we will just rename it as pipe system and we will add the inlet stream as water inlet the outlet as water outlet and we can we have also added an energy stream that is energy one or we can rename these streams as desired next we will switch to the worksheet now since we are provided with the inlet conditions of water that is 40 tons per hour of water and the water pressure at the beginning of the pipe system is 5 bar and its temperature is 25 degree centigrade these values are known so we will just enter in the water inlet so temperature is 25 degree centigrade the pressure is 5 bar the mass flow of water is 40 tons per hour so we will select 40 10 per hour. Next, we will switch to the composition, and since we know only water is flowing, so the inlet composition of water is going to be 1 and we'll mole fraction and then we'll select OK. Next, we will switch to rating and we will select heat transfer. And since we are provided with the ambient air temperature and the average value of the heat transfer coefficient that is 20 watt per meter square per Kelvin. So we will go to overall heat transfer coefficient. The ambient temperature is 20 and the overall heat transfer is also 20. Just be careful with the units that is watt per meter square per Kelvin. So it will automatically convert it into kilojoule per hour per meter square per degree centigrade. Next we will select sizing and we can see that in the pipe system we have different fittings and different valves and pipe system so we will add these into the pipe system so first we will go to sizing then we will select append segment so in first case over here we are having a, an open gate valve so in over here we will select the fitting type as 
open gate wall so this is gate wall open now the inner diameter we are provided that the inside diameter of the pipe is 100 millimeter so that pipe is going to fit into the wall so inner diameter of water is of the sorry the pipe is 100 millimeter so next we have to be very careful with the material of the pipe since we are provided with mild steel so we are not going to change this material if you if the if different material is provided then you are going to select it accordingly next we will add another segment and in this segment we can see that there is a 50 meter long pipe after the open gate wall so we will select pipe and we are given with the length of the pipe that is 50 meter the outer diameter so for the outer diameter it is also given as that the wall thickness is 5 millimeter so from the both sides 5 plus 5 it is going to give us 10 millimeter so the outer diameter is going to be 110 and the inner diameter is 100 next we will add another segment and we can see that the third is a half open gate wall so in this case we are going to select the fitting as gate wall that is half open so same inner diameter 100 millimeter we will add a new segment now and we can see that after the half open gate wall there is a 50 meter long pipe again so we will select pipe and then the equivalent length is 50 meter the outer diameter 110 and inner diameter is 100 so after this now we are done with four segments in the fifth one over here we can see that there is a 90 degree elbow so we will add a new segment and we will select a 90 elbow 90 standard and we will input the same specification so the next segment after this elbow we can see that again there is a 50 meter long pipe so again there is a pipe same length and same diameters okay so after this segment we can see again there is a 90 degree elbow so we will add here a 90 degree elbow again after this 90 degree elbow we can see that there is a disc water meter situated so we are going to add another segment and in this case we are going to add a water meter disc so same 100 millimeter the inner diameter next we will add a new segment and this we can see that there is again a 50 meter long pipe so next we will add another segment and this time we see that there is a globe wall that is open so we will add here a globe wall open and this same you can see and finally after the globe wall we again have the last segment that is a 50 meter long pipe so we will add finally the last segment okay so we have added all our segments and the system is now completed 
so we can also see that the status bar has turned green it means that all the required input is completed so now in the problem it was required to calculate the pressure drop the pressure and the temperature profile so we can see that the pressure at the outlet of the pipe is going to be 433.2 kpa or 4.332 bars for taking the pressure drop we will go to design and we will see the parameters and here we can see that the delta t delta p it is 66.79 kilopascals now to see the temperature profile and the pressure profile we can see switch to performance and then we will select view profile and here we obtain a list of, of table which has different parameters so we can see over here that the length of the pipe is given that is 250 me 250 meter and a different length of the pipe we can see the pressure the temperature and to see it graphically we will switch to plot and we can see switch to temperature and we can see that this is the temperature profile along the length of the pipe so we can see that there is a slight pressure drop from 25 degree centigrade to 24.83 degree centigrade along the length of the 250 meter pipe now to check the pressure value sorry the pressure profile we will switch to pressure and we can see that this is the pressure profile for the pipe system so we can see that after 50 meter length of the pipe we have a pressure drop which is due to a half open gate valve which is situated after this 50 meter long pipe so here we can see the pressure drop value next we can see that a significant pressure drop is is visible after 150 meter length of the pipe so after 150 meter length of the pipe we can see that there is over here a 90 uh, degree elbow and a disc water meter is situated so here we again see a pressure drop and finally after 200 meter length of the pipe we again see a pressure drop which is obtained due to the presence of a globe valve which is open so we have calculated all the required values all the required parameters and this video simulated how we can calculate the pressure drop for the pipe system thank you so much for watching